In this wonderful speech delivered by Speaker Salon alum Swati Mital Jagedia, you will not only learn how to step into a place of conscious choice, but you'll also see the power in super conversational public speaking style. People tell me things. Sally tells me she wasted an entire night watching mindless TV. Jay tells me they keep saying yes to every gig that comes their way, and they're overwhelmed by midterms. Brooke tells me they're getting flack from their coworkers for working too hard, and they may need to bring it down a notch. And then there's Anya. Anya confesses to me she's wanted to audition with a local theater group for three years. She's figured out her schedule. She's found a sitter. She's just waiting until she's 100% ready. So I ask her, what do we need to do to get to 100% ready? And she says, I don't know. What do you think? I think that stage is ready and waiting for Anya. Sometimes we can't identify her name. That last piece of information that we need, maybe it means we've got all the information that we need. She commits to auditioning. I tell her to break a leg. Jay acknowledges that his MBA is so important to him. It's what's going to take his musical talent and turn it into a business. He recalibrates and puts his studies back at the top of his priority list. And as for Brooke, they decide they're unwilling to dull their shine to accommodate another person's work ethic. We all deserve to love our jobs with that brand of passion. I know I do. I'm a mental health therapist, an executive coach, and an adjunct professor. People tell me things because it's my job. I work with people to reframe situations, tap into their potential, and I do this using an exciting and empowering approach that's designed to help us stop apologizing for all those decisions that we didn't intentionally make. Stop deliberating to the point of exhaustion. Stop living by other people's standards. Stop and take a breath. And step out of a place that can feel like compliance and into one of conscious choice. Welcome to Purpose Squared, a powerful practice of living with purpose and on purpose with exponential returns. This is a five-step practice where we pause, ask, commit, execute, and reflect. So they're deciding what we want to wear today or what we want to do with our lives. The Purpose Squared practice is here to help us step into a place of clarity, personal agency, and motivation. It catalyzes action. So let's get back to Sally. She's an inspiring leader, a hard worker, a great friend. Her story is that she left work, walked by the gym, flipped on the TV, and scavenged her way through dinner. What's sad about this story is not that she watched the Kardashians all night while nibbling on pickle chips. What's sad about this story is that the entire time she was doing it, she was cycling through the thoughts of, I should be working out, I should be working, I should not be doing this. Fast forward to her being in my office, telling me she feels terrible. We deserve better. What if instead Sally used the Purpose Squared model, a quick pause focused on her evening, and ask, what's important about tonight? What do I need? What are my intentions? On this night, she knew that she needed a break in both mind and body, from the gym, from other people, from intellectual thought, from deciding what to eat for dinner. Suddenly, some senseless shows and simple snacks had the power to rejuvenate. A commitment to her plan, and then she rolled into execution because a decision is a good intention until we do something with it. So she left work, walked by the gym. Instead of pretending it didn't exist this time, she said, hey, I'll see you later this week. And she meant it. She booked a class for Friday. She plopped on her couch, and she savored the television chatter and those chips. And the next morning, when she woke up to reflect, rather than living in a sea of should, should, and shouldn'ts, Sally said, that was just what I needed. The same story that looks virtually identical on the outside, and it feels entirely different on the inside. This is what being with purpose and on purpose looks like in an everyday moment. Pause, ask, commit, execute, reflect. At its core, this is a decision-making model. When fully adopted, this is so much more. Purpose Squared is a practice, an attitude, and a lifestyle that's continually being refined and builds on itself over time. It's equal parts responsive to our past, present in the moment, and proactive for our future. It's less cerebral and more instinctive, giving voice to the parts of us that are intuitive. And it kindly nudges us along when the information we have is enough, even if it's not 100%. We believe in learning from action as opposed to treading indefinitely in speculation. 
Purpose Squared is a no doubts, judgment free, commitmentful, and wholly engaged space. For all the things that Purpose Squared is, it is not a rationalization. The whole practice was designed to take us out of a place of passivity and into one of intention. So whether we decide to have dessert for dinner, check out our ex's Facebook feed, or close the family business, we own our decisions and the reason we made them. There is no blaming and there are no excuses. Our lives are made up of a series of moments, some of them quite big, right? And then some of them relatively small. They all deserve our attention, and this practice was designed to meet them all. So when you pause and you ask, what are the important questions? What do I genuinely want? What are my intentions? We are living with purpose. When you commit and you execute by listening to your deepest answers, by making a clear decision, and by moving forward with ownership, you are living on purpose. And when you reflect, you're gifting yourself the opportunity to reassess, renew, and build towards a place where you feel indefinitely whole. Now that is living a purpose squared. Consider yourself invited. If you have the desire to get on stage and share your powerful story as part of the speaker salon like Swati, be sure to go to speakersalonapplication.com. And let me know what your biggest takeaways were from Swati's talk. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you get access and notified for my next video. I'm so happy that you're here and will always respond to your comments. Big love.